Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. Hopefully you all are having an awesome Christmas, a happy holiday season. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the 10 best or my 10 most favorite cars to drive in the snow. Now, some of these cars are gonna have practical elements to them. Some of them are gonna just be more appearance and cosmetic elements. So I think all these vehicles are a ton of fun. We've only got about a day of snow left, but then it'll actually be coming back on New Year's. So you'll still have plenty of time to take advantage of this. And then obviously single player, you can mess around with mods if you want. Um, and there's a whole lot of other ways to get snow and online too. All right, so this is definitely in no particular order. I also tried to get a good mix of vehicles, sports classic, off-road, muscle, super, etc. So you're gonna see a lot in this video. The first one today is the Lampadati Pigale. Now I can hear you guys right now. Why the Lampadati Pigale? What's so special about this vehicle? Well, it's a sports classic car, and the only reason I'm putting it on this list is because of one special customization option it has. You can actually modify the roof and put an Alpine rack on there. And what that does is it puts two pairs of snow skis on your roof. And this looks incredibly cool in the snow because it actually looks like you have a use for them on your car. And it's really cool if you go like driving up in the mountains because you can really take some awesome snapmatics with your character dressed up in snow attire. And then you've got this car that looks pretty retro and it's got snow skis on the back, which is obviously pretty awesome. So when I found out about this a long time ago, I was like, man, that is gonna be amazing for the snow. And even though this vehicle is not the best at driving, it's not terrible, uh, that look of the snow skis on top just looks incredible. So the Lampadati Pagale, definitely one of those vehicles you should try out in the snow. Sticking with the sports classics, we're moving on to the Sterling GT. So not only does the Sterling GT perform really well, it was kind of recently outclassed by some of the newer sports classics that would, was added, but it's still a really great vehicle. So one of the spoiler options you can actually put on the Sterling GT is a spare tire that goes on the back. And this is pretty unique because not many of the other sports classics have customization like that. So I think that that actually looks really cool. It gives it kind of like a grand tour, off-road, country sort of vibe to this car. And I really like it. In the snow, it looks especially beautiful, like you're preparing for one of your wheels to fall off or something like that, and you need to replace it so that you can get back on the snow. But the Sterling GT, again, is another great car. And when you customize it like this, it really does like it was made for some off-road mountain snow adventure. Okay, vehicle number three, and this is probably our first practical one today, and that is the Comet Safari. So the Comet Safari was one of the new vehicles added in the Doomsday Heist, and not only does it look like it was made for going off-road and in the snow, but it also has one of the best off-road statistics in the game in terms of its handling and its traction and its ability to, you know, stay stable in the snow. Now, as kind of a side note of all the vehicles I'm talking about today, if you want the best performance, off-road tires are your best bet. It's not gonna help a ton, but it is better than using normal tires, so keep that in mind if you are driving in the snow. But the Comet Safari was pretty much made for the snow. The uh, Comet that we got last year, the Comet Retro Custom, is actually a pretty good snow vehicle. This one is like five times better than that. So it's a lot of fun, it looks the part, and it's just really awesome as far as a snow car goes. And it can also be weaponized. So I'm not sure if that really has any significance on making it a good snow car, but that is the third vehicle we're looking at today. The fourth vehicle we're gonna be taking a look at today was also added in the Doomsday Heist, and that is the Riata. So it's kind of like that new modern Ford Bronco. Now, this vehicle has amazing suspension which makes it one of the best off-roading vehicles in the game. So because of its incredible suspension, it has the ability to handle rocks and rough terrain, and you're gonna be seeing that in the snow more so than normal. So this vehicle is really, really great as far as trucks go for off-roading. It also, customization-wise, is incredible. You can put so many different things on there that uh, kind of prepare you for the snow in some way, shape, and form. It has that big like LED halo light at the top, which is great because at night, the snow makes things really dark. So it's great to see, very easy to see out of. So definitely the Riata, one of the better snowy vehicles you can have in the game. After that, at the number five spot today, we have the Dubsta 6x6. Who doesn't wanna take a six axle truck 
in the snow. So I don't think there's any performance benefits that happen when using the Dubs the 6x6. This car is just awesome. It was made for off-road in sort of a luxurious fashion. If you wanted to make it white, that would actually look kind of nice. It would sort of almost blend in. But at the same rate, one of the things I like about the Dubs the 6x6 is you can like see the suspension and the coil and the springs of the tires like bouncing up and down as you go over moguls and hills, which would look great in the snow. So it's definitely one of those vehicles that I'm a huge fan of uh, when the snow falls around. So definitely grab yourself a Dubs to 6x6 if you want some snow fun. So I know this technically isn't a car, but the next vehicle we're gonna be looking at today is the Akula. So in general, the Akula is one of the better vehicles in the game. It has so many features like stealth mode, uh, night vision, thermal vision. It's pretty well weaponized, but there's two things about this that make it a great snow vehicle in my opinion. Number one is it has an amazing like winter camo on it that looks so cool. So typically this camo sticks out like a sore thumb if you were to apply it on there, but if you paint it white and use this camouflage, it looks epic. And you can really like sort of blend into the sky and the mountains and whatnot, giving you sort of an active camo. And number two, speaking of camo, if you go into stealth mode, not only will you be off the radar, but the snow in the sky will essentially blend you in where you'll never be seen unless you're really close up. So it honestly makes the Akula like an, an invisible vehicle, which is kind of crazy when flying around. Again, it's great if you're doing business stuff, great if you're trying to hide from a bounty. So the Akula automatically becomes one of the best snow vehicles. After that, we've got the trophy truck. So not only is the trophy truck just a great off-road vehicle in general, uh, it was kind of made for stuff like this, but it can also survive in the water really well. And one thing that I've always found fun to do is take your car off-roading in the snow and then kind of like drive it through streams and then back into the snow. It's really fun and really cool to do. And because the trophy truck is so lifted off the ground, it can survive going in most shallow streams, like areas near the Alamo Sea and Fort Zancudo. So it's great to take off there, going from land to water, and just going into the snow, into the water. It's a ton of fun. The trophy truck is a great vehicle in general, but it is amazing as a snow car. And it's kind of a side bit to the trophy truck. You can like sort of deconstruct the parts of it by like driving over the, a certain part of the Zancudo Bridge. And you can really make it like a minimalistic snow vehicle, which again is a really cool look. So that's another reason why I like the trophy truck. After that, at the number eight spot, we've got the Canis Mesa. So there's just something about a four x four Jeep that almost belongs in the snow. And this vehicle is no exception. It feels like it belongs. It really feels like it fits. Uh, it's great for off-roading. It, it just looks amazing in the snow. Those big default tires when they pick up the snow looks so good. And then you've got that spare tire on the back too, which looks really good for sort of an off-road vibe or scene. So typically I'm not a huge fan of the Canis Mesa, but in moments like this, when the snow is here, in my opinion, it just looks absolutely beautiful. And we're gonna be ending the day with two supercars. We couldn't go this entire video without mentioning a supercar. And there's two in particular that I think are really good for the snow. The first one is the Nero Custom. So based off of the Bugatti Chiron, which if you look up snowy supercar or supercar in the snow, the first couple examples you get are Bugattis. So I don't know if that has anything to do with the way they're built. The Veyron and the Chiron are both really heavy but fast cars. So I'm not sure if that does make them better in the snow, but the Nero and the Nero Custom have always performed well with me in the snow. And fun fact, it came out in the Christmas 2016 update. So it kind of has that snow-ish vibe going for it already since it was released in the 2016 Festive Surprise DLC. And the next supercar we're gonna be looking at today is the Tempesta. Now I have chosen the Tempesta just because it is a really great performing car. It's probably one of the overall best supercars you could have in the game. And the few times I've used it on the snow, I've always felt like I was in super control which is obviously really good. That's probably the biggest thing about the snow is you'll, you'll spin out, you'll lose traction and whatnot, which is something you don't want. And it's kind of a fun fact, this is the car that Roman was actually driving in the Fast and Furious 8 movie when they were going after the submarine on the ice in Antarctica or wherever they were. 
he was driving like an orange one of these on the ice. And I, and I always thought that scene was funny. And so I always think of something like that when I'm driving the Tempesta in the snow. I, I always think of that moment, which I think is pretty cool. If only Rockstar would like freeze over the lakes in game, that would be epic. We could almost sort of replicate that scene, which would be really cool. But that right there is all the information I've got for you guys in this video today. That is 10 of my favorite snow vehicles that you can use. Once again, we only have snow for about seven to eight days total in Grand Theft Auto Online, but when we do, it is a ton of fun, and that right there is some of the best vehicles that you can ultimately use. Whether they have just a cool feature, or customization upgrade, or they're just simply better performance-wise, uh, which most of these vehicles were in that case. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section down below. Let me know which vehicle is your favorite to take out in the snow. You can reach out to me on Twitter or message us in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. We like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.